Welcome to the urban district of Norhelm, located in the northern part of Copenhagen on the Danish east coast. Norhelm, or North Arbor, is an example of an urban area of the future, which combines livability, sustainability, and intelligent solutions in a vibrant smart city neighborhood. Norhelm is an urban area with many firsts. It was the first harbour facility to be constructed in concrete, the first harbour in the world to replace mechanical power with electric power, and today it is one of Northern Europe's largest metropolitan development projects. Over the next 50 years, Norham will be transformed from an isolated industrial area to a sprawling district of 40,000 residents and 40,000 workplaces. The development of Norham continues Copenhagen's historical strategy of a step-by-step -step expansion into the surrounding sea. The Norham Master Plan conceives the area as an urban archipelago or a series of dense neighbourhoods on the water. Norham has been developed with livability in mind. This means taking a holistic approach to ensure the good life for its residents and other users. Smart technological solutions have only been added to support the good life and to increase the sustainability factor. For instance, Norham utilizes its direct access to the sea by providing a variety of recreational urban spaces and public facilities by the water. Let's meet two of the central architects, Koba and Slet, to hear from the urban planners themselves what are some of the key considerations in the development of Norham. We're standing on a playground which is on top of a parking garage. It's a fitness playground for grown-ups and it's also a playground for kids. There's a fantastic view over the water from this completely public space. And this is an example of layering infrastructure such as parking with a playground and there's also a supermarket and a recycling station in the ground floor. Orient Quay is also a good example of uh, our concept named the Five Minute City. So the Five Minute City concept is about uh, being able to walk uh, to all the things you need within a five minute distance. What we try to achieve here is to connect the public infrastructure, the metro line, with, directly with the water. So we actually have a new stop for the harbour bus and furthermore also the, the bicycle lane. So we have all uh, sustainable transportation uh, systems connected in one point here. Another example is the Copenhagen International School at Norham. The facade of this remarkable building is covered by 12,000 solar panels, which supply more than half of the school's electricity consumption. Similarly, the UN City, the regional head office of the United Nations, which is the star-shaped building below you, uses 55% less energy than comparable office buildings. In terms of climate resilience, the whole area has been built at a higher level than other parts of Copenhagen to be compatible with a rising sea level. Another smart energy solution that has been tested at Norhelm is the so-called Flex Heat heat pump. A flexible heating system with a two-stage groundwater heat pump that uses ammonia as the refrigerant. Tests indicate that it's possible to save more than 10% of the utility's heating costs with flexible operation of this innovative heat pump. We are now here from Christian Honorier from the Copenhagen utility, HO4, who will explain how flex heat works. At HO4, we see large scale heat pumps like flex heat as part of the future multi fueled district heating energy system being both sustainable, resilient and affordable for all of our customers and citizens of Copenhagen and district heating customers around Europe. It is impossible to tell what the future looks like, but the Norham district may hold some of the answers to the challenge of combining livability with sustainability, resilience and smart technology in urban planning. Although the Norham project has existed for more than a decade, it is still at an early stage. So maybe it is still too early to say if this area looks like the future. What do you think? <laughs>